Hi, I'm Chase Thompson Baugh with Simply Mac, your local source for everything Apple. We're a Utah based Apple specialist with eight stores in Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. And today we're going to show you some more quick tips on the iPad that I know you're just going to love. And now I'm going to show you a great way of how you can go paperless using your iPad. So if you want to go paperless with the iPad, there's several applications in the App Store that can help you out with this. Just doing simple searches for like PDF management or document management. But I'm going to show you just a couple of my favorite ones. So say we get an email and uh, we've got some information in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just highlight this and just say copy. Now I'm going to go ahead and just go out to pages where I have a blank document waiting and I can go ahead and paste that right in and I can go ahead and begin working with this. I can uh, start typing up whatever I want. I can also add in additional elements like say a, uh, a chart or a shape. So I'll go ahead and I'll just add this in just for fun. And okay, my document's here. It's not pretty, but it's what I've got. I'm going to come back out here to documents and I'm going to take this document and maybe I want to email it to somebody. So I'm going to tap edit, tap on my document, and with this little arrow I can send it to an email address. So I can send it in several different formats like pages if that person happens to have pages for their iPad or happens to have a Mac with pages or a PDF or a Word. I'm going to choose PDF, pulls up a blank and I can send this off to somebody. Now another interesting thing is if somebody happens to send you a PDF you can go ahead and you can tap and hold on that PDF and open it in an application like PDF Expert. PDF Expert is a fantastic application to help you go paperless because it allows you to annotate and sign different PDFs. You can see I've already started to annotate this one, but if I want to go ahead and add a signature for instance, I can tap on this little signature. I've added a signature already, but let me add in a new one. Maybe my name is uh, Jim Jones. And I'll tap save. Now I need to add my signature, say, right here. So I'm going to tap and hold. Signature, my signature. I could also have gotten a customer signature that would have been used just for this one document. And I can place it, make it larger, do whatever I need to. I can also add in text if I want to annotate something. So text, this is fun. And I can also place this wherever I'd like it to go. Done. And now I can send this off to somebody. So by tapping up there, I can send it in an email to somebody, or I can keep it myself by tapping open in. I'm going to choose a flattened copy, that's the best choice. And then I can open it in other applications. Like if I send it to Dropbox, I can open it up on any device if uh, I already have my Dropbox account set up. Or I can even send it to Print Central Pro, which is a fantastic application to print things. I know we're talking about going paperless, but on occasion you do need to print something, and this is a great way to accomplish that. Of course, there are several other applications like Numbers and Keynote that will help you do spreadsheets and presentations, but do a quick search on the App Store for these and you'll find ones that fit your likings best. Again, I'm Chase Thompson Ball with Simply Mac, and I've shown you some great ways that you can go paperless using your iPad.